Hello guys, welcome back to Smart Education. So today we're going to discuss about the topic, the alternating current versus direct current, which is also called as AC versus DC. So before getting into the topic, let's discuss about electric current. So electric current flows in two ways as an alternating current or direct current. In alternating current, the current keeps switching directions periodically forward and backward while in direct current, it flows in a single direction steadily. So the main difference between AC and DC lies in the direction in which the electrons flow. So in DC, the electrons flow steadily in a single direction while electrons keep switching directions going forward and then backwards in AC. So we'll learn the differences between these two in the coming slides. So let's talk about alternate current. In alternate current, the electric charge flows changes its direction periodically. So AC is the most commonly used and preferred electric power for household equipments, offices, buildings, etc. It was first tested based on the principles of Michael Faraday in 1832 using a dynamo electric generator. So an alternating current can be identified in a waveform called a sine wave which we'll be talking at a later point of time. In other words, it can be referred to as a curved line. So this curved line represents electric cycles and are measured per second. The measurement is read as Hertz or HC. AC is used in powerhouses and buildings because the generating and transporting AC across long distances is relatively easy. So AC is capable of powering electric motors which are used on refrigerators, washing machines, etc. So unlike alternating current, the flow of direct current does not change periodically. So the current electricity flows in a single direction in a very steady voltage. So the major use of DC is to supply power to electrical devices and also to charge batteries. For example, if you want to charge a mobile phone battery, flashlights, flat screen televisions and electric vehicles, we use DC. So DC has a combination of a plus and a minus sign, a dotted line or a straight line. So everything that runs on a battery and uses an AC adapter while plugging into a wall or uses a USB cable for power relies on DC. Examples would be cell phones, electric vehicles, flashlights and flat screen TVs etc. Because AC goes into the TV and then it's converted to DC. Next we're going to discuss about the differences between alternating current and direct current. So by this topic, it will be very useful for every people who attend the trainings or any examinations on noting the differences between these two current types. So talking about alternating current, AC is very safe to be transferred over long distances, while DC cannot be traveled for a very long distance because it loses electric power when it goes on and on. Second point is the rotating magnets cause a change in the direction of electric flow which is having differential directions for alternating current while in direct current there is steady mechanism which makes the dc flow in a single direction the next which we are going to talk about is the frequency level so ac frequency depends upon the country where we are actually using it so but generally the frequency ranges from 50 hertz to 60 hertz while in direct current, there is no such things called frequency or we can also call it as zero frequency. Okay. Next differentiation happens when the direction varies from time to time. That means in AC, the flow of current changes its direction forward and backward periodically. Okay. In direct current, it flows in a single direction steadily. Next, we're going to talk about the electron flow and you guys know that Electrons is something that generate electricity, right? So electrons in AC keeps changing their directions backward and forward. That's why the flow of the current changes its directions periodically forward and backward. Wherein direct current, electrons only move in one direction, that is forward direction. That's why when we actually use direct current for long distances, it loses electric power. Now it's time for a recap or we can also say it as a quiz time. So in this, let's discuss on the first question. Why can't AC be stored in batteries instead of DC? 
So the answer to this question will be, it is important that you understand that the batteries do not store energy directly in them. They store electrical energy in the form of chemical energy. So the positive terminal of an AC source is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of an AC source is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So the current starts to flow but since it is alternate current it changes its polarity and there is no actual supply of energy. This is because the positive half cycle cancels out the negative half cycles. So if this process continues it can damage the battery. Therefore AC is not stored in batteries. As I mentioned in the earlier slides, alternate current is denoted by a sine wave which have positive half cycle and negative half cycle. So that means if the current starts to flow, the AC changes its polarity so that the positive half cycle of the AC will cancel out the negative half cycle which means that there will not be actual supply of energy which makes the battery damage. So AC is not a particular source which we can use in batteries. It should be direct current. Next we are going to talk about the advantages of alternating current over direct current. So the first advantage of alternating current is that it is less expensive and easy to generate than DC. And second one is that the distance covered by alternating current is more than that of DC because DC cannot travel for a very long distance because it loses electric power. The next advantage is that the power loss during the transmission in AC is less than when compared to DC. These are the few advantages of AC over a DC. Hope you like the session. If you like the session, please put your suggestions in the comment box so that I can respond to it. Have a great day. Thank you.